Now, with no known cure or vaccine for COVID-19, social distancing remains the only real weapon against the spread of COVID-19. It's a point reiterated by Technical Advisor on Hospital Services in the office of the Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Anthony Parkinson. At Saturday's Ministry of Health update on the status of COVID-19 in the country, the doctor demonstrated the use of a ventilator and outlined some of the ways that the virus presents itself in patients. We have no magic bullet to treat the COVID-19. None whatsoever. The only weapon we have against it is separation. That's the only weapon we have against it. If that is not handled properly, you will end up with a lot of patients being on a ventilator. Don't reach a ventilator. It's the advice to those who still haven't grasped the import of social distancing in the fight against coronavirus. Dr. Anthony Parkinson says there's no scientific evidence that any of the at-home remedies being touted works on curing or preventing the virus. As to how a COVID-19 patient presents, he says it depends on the individual. It's an inflammatory reaction that fills up the little air sacs in the lungs <clears throat> with a fluid and eventually a membrane that inhibits, stops the oxygen from getting past that membrane into the bloodstream itself. That is the basic thing that has happened with the COVID when it reached that st this stage. Um, we were talking about the bad stage. Most people get this very slightly and then they recover. But it's actually your own body. It's the defenses your own body has that kind of works into overdrive that causes this kind of reaction to take place. He explained that in most COVID-19 cases, a ventilator would not be required. But in the event that it is required, a ventilated patient has to be sedated and sometimes paralyzed. Noting that a technique called proning, where a patient is put to lie on their stomach, has proven to bring some measure of relief to patients who are not on ventilators, it doesn't replace the ventilator. That's not an answer. It's just a way to um, a, a maneuver to increase oxygenation. However, that may, has many, in many instances, evolve towards needing a ventilator. According to the health minister, Terence Dialsing, there are 69 ventilators dedicated to the COVID-19 response, with five of those in Tobago. Another 10 are expected to come on stream. Four of those would be for use in Tobago. At present, none of the COVID-19 patients are on a ventilator. Stacey Ann Providence, TDT News.